Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Create Parametric. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an FSA JZ or a Go Kart JZ using the Create Parametric. The basic method of creating the JZ would be to create the 3D curves or planar curves and then uh, maybe sweep or uh, sweep uh, section across these curves. But it doesn't work as you can see the uh, intersections are not realistic and, and it, and in reality, you don't see an intersection of uh, such complexity uh, as the intersections are cut at this uh, joint. So, or to overcome this problem, maybe we can use the surface command and then, uh, then trim the surface or merge the surface together. But uh, sometimes the thickening option would create some representation which can't be meshed together and the offset also doesn't work sometimes so create provides an option for overcoming this problem which is using the advanced framework extension uh, which is found in the assembly tab so I will show you how it is done so this is a uh, this is a JC uh, built using the advanced framework extension of create parametric uh, as seen here the framework tab up here or uh, each each individual uh, part is is an UDF defined by the framework itself, and you can choose from a variety of uh, uh, from a variety of uh, the variety of available available standards. So let me show you how it's done. So first, you need to create an uh, first, you need to uh, create a skeleton of the model. I've created, created a skeleton and then added a few, few cross sections before here. So, the first step uh, how to create a new project. Before which, if you don't find the frame back tab, go to the options and click on the configuration editor. If, if the status is set as no, I'll make it as is, or else, uh, click on the add button and type as AFX enable. And then make the value as yes. So and uh, before before which you have to restart the career to make the option enable, and then you're ready to build up build the section using the framework. So the first option is to create profiles. You can choose from a variety of profiles available in the library. I've chosen the pipe of pipe of three by four inch and zero point one five foot thickness. Uh, for placing the Cross sections. Uh, you, you need to select the instance if it's a CFS instance or a repetition of instance, and then the reference method. Uh, there are four, three reference methods actually. Uh, one, one for placing the, I'm placing these cross sections on a simple curve. One, one for the bended curve, and one for placing the cross section between the uh, points. So I'll show you how to the, how to place the. I'll go how to place the cross section on a single curve or select on the single curve and the first you have to select the orientation plane which is this one up here if not uh, this is which this is this one there and set this one as orientation plane and then the curve you can see that the EDF is automatically generated by the query parameter if we just reps to create an array now the other method is to Create a bended curve, uh, a bended uh, uh, to place the cross section on the bended curve, for which you have to select an instance, instance type, and then on the assembled profile and a bend curve, and select on the orientation plane again, and also the curve, which, uh, which needs to be selected as in order the first curve and the last curve. So it creates a UDF with the bended curve. So that's how it does it. Uh, the other method is to place the curve on a on between two points. Uh, with, there's nothing but it actually creates the curve between two points and then uh, then creates a cross section before which you have to define a plane passing through the points. So that's how we define a profile. After defining the profile, we need to do a joint. Uh, joint are the intersections which can be done basing uh, joint command here select the type of joint you want I want this type of joint and then maybe select the surfaces yeah that's how we do that this rotation on a continuous loop 
so you can go on doing that till you want. So one other command that would be useful in creating um, creating the chases would be the cut at the intersections, uh, some complex cuts. So I'll use the profile cutout and select the profile that needs to be cut by by profile that cuts it. So as you can see that see here, uh, the profile is cut and it's almost. Um, Realistic, you can do that uh, here or where you want. So, this would be the basic option uh, for creating your chassis of your FSA or go kart vehicle. Also, you can use a plane at trim uh, with the replace surface options, which may be useful, but this would be the basic uh, necessity for creating your chassis. So, that's it. That's the end of the tutorial, and I'll see you later again. Bye.